people, I am back <laughs> and I am back with another video. Um, if you are new to my channel, first let me start off by welcoming you. Welcome to my channel, the channel of try-ons, reviews, makeup, talking crap. Welcome. <laughs> Uh, and if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button right now. I'm gonna give you a second, one second up. And uh, if you make sure you hit the bell notification so you guys never miss a video. Yes. And if you guys want to also continue following me outside of YouTube, you can follow me on my Instagram page, which is Miss Lupe's official page and my OnlyFans, OnlyFans.com slash Miss Lupe, which is me. Yes. And um, yeah, so, you know, make sure you guys go looking for me and go show me some up. <laughs> anyway, let's jump into this. Um, today's video is catered to everybody. Duh. <laughs> so um, basically, I am going to be doing a comparison of women's shaving cream and typically a man's shaving cream so um yeah that's what we're going to be doing um which one is better is it the women's that's better or is it the men's that's better so um i've used both obviously and you know because sometimes you're on a budget and one might be cheaper than the other maybe one's on sale so you know i've used both of them um and i'll tell you my personal preference at the end of the video or towards the end, you know, you get it. Anyway, so let's jump into it. Men's or women's shaving cream, which is better? All right, so we're gonna start off with the men's first. This is a very popular shaving cream. Um, Barbosol, Barbasol, <laughs> Barbosol. <laughs> so yeah, um, Barbasol is um, a thick, rich shaving cream. Um, this one is for sensitive skin um because they have like all different kind of colors so depending on the color it's for uh whatever you know it says on here so this is for sensitive skin um it says it protects and moisturizes it has aloe thyme papaya willow bark and a light fragrance so interesting because i didn't know it had those um things in it um aside from the aloe but yeah so this is we're gonna try this one i'm gonna Put a little on my hand and it says shake can hold upright before use so let's shake it baby shake 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 sonora shake your body right all right <laughs> all right so uh, I'm gonna put a little bit right here Ooh. Ooh. did you guys know that in commercials when they want to put like a nice fluffy whipped cream on like an ice cream or something they use shaving cream did you guys know that? <laughs> Cause look how perfect it stays. Like it doesn't melt and droop. You know, if they put actual whipped cream, it would like melt and droop and look, would not look like a nice little puffy cloud. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> back into getting, so Barbasol. So automatically it's like a nice thick foam uh, when you uh, put it on. I don't want to say spray cause it's not really sprayed, but you know, whatever. And it's a nice thick creamy foam and it's soft this one smells very light a very light scent kind of it also has like an aftershave scent to it like one of those woodsy piney ones it kind of smells like that so it's a nice thick it has a good coverage because when you spray you know put it on your leg or your face so you want to get like good coverage in it and um this way you don't use so much so it does have like a nice thick um shade um coverage to it i like using a uh, shaving cream because you can see any place that you miss <laughs> shaving so you never miss a spot <laughs> so that's what i would say about this barbasol it does have like a nice thick um coating um which is good for the skin as well and it smells really nice and the texture is just like 
very airy also like even though it's thick it just feels airy and it's not sticky or anything so that's what i would say about the barbasol and it smells good it has a very fresh fresh scent to it so when you shave your face and you, or your legs you'll have that nice fresh clean feeling also but it overall it feels really nice um i'm sure you, your skin will feel nice and soft after using it so let's let me wipe this off here i got a towel you know and then we are going to go into the women's um shaving cream let's see what the difference is all right so this one i got the brand skin to mint um it's for dry skin which is perfect for me because my skin is super super dry and um yeah so this is perfect for me and it says with six moisturizers a moisturizing shaving gel so i guess this one is more like a gel which is cool um yeah so that's what i got skin to mitts dry skin in the pink bottle they also have a whole bunch of these different colors uh you know different colors for different things is in the bottle so yeah let's see all right so i'm gonna shake it do i have to shake this one so this one says it has a uh, vitamin e and olive butter it's supposed to replenish dry skin it's natural moisture for healthy and smooth skin and that's pretty much it and it says moisture rich lotionized gel provides ultimate razor protection for a close comfortable shave so yeah that's what this says about this brand all right so gonna go ahead and squirt some oh, okay so automatically totally different compared to the barbasol which was like a fluffy foam. This one just came like if you squirted lotion on your hand, it's like, you know, stringy a little bit, but let's see. When you rub it together, it foams up like as you're rubbing it up your leg or on your face, it foams up like the Barbasol. So that's pretty cool. Um, this one has more of a fruity smell more you know on the woman side <laughs> of scents um but it still smells nice um i mean a man or a woman could use it it's not that overly girly where you you know if a guy uses it you're like oh you're using girls products so what <laughs> girls products are better anyway <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. There's some men products that are better, but women have better skin care, I think. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah. Um, here we go. So it does foam up once you, you know, rub it together. So it does turn um, foamy. But it's not as thick as the um, Barbasol, where the Barbasol one was really, really thick. This one is not super thick. But it still has a nice consistency when you're spreading it out um so let's see i'm gonna spread it so it has like a nice coverage a nice thickness a nice consistency um compared to the barbasol i would say the barbasol is more a more thicker consistency compared to the um this what is it skin to mint ones and the scent is fresh but a little bit fruity compared to the um barbasol so this one i feel like um the consistency is not as thick as the barbasol and you might get um maybe a closer shave with this one because it's not as thick than the other one but um that's what that's the only difference i kind of see is the consistency aside from the scent um of it and all right so in my uh, humble opinion I think that 
I actually like both of them. <laughs> um, I like the thickness of the Barbasol, but um, I feel uh, the um, the intimate one. I think it leaves your skin feeling a bit more softer compared to the Barbasol. And but other than that, that would be like the only difference. Um, like I, I've used both of them, and I've never noticed a difference in the shave. Like my leg didn't feel less hairy or like bumpy or whatever than using the Barbasol compared to the skin to and vice versa. So I never felt like a real difference in the shave, but I did feel a difference in the skin. So my skin felt softer using the skin to one compared to the Barbasol. So for that, I think I would prefer using the skin to mint just overall because I have dry skin and you know you always just want your skin to feel nice and soft to touch because you don't want to walk around having like alligator skin <laughs> though isn't alligator skin supposed to be really soft <laughs> I don't know anyway you don't want to have rough skin okay <laughs> so um so yeah so I would prefer to use the skin cement compared to the Barbasol just because it I think it leaves your skin feeling a bit more softer um but shave shaving wise I don't think there's like a major difference at all in them so uh you can use whichever one you want for a shave if you're just looking to shave but if you want your skin to feel better or nicer or softer I will go with the skin to mint and it, just because it's skin to mint doesn't mean that men cannot use it because that has nothing to do with it like shaving cream is shaving cream um you might smell a little different but the smell doesn't last long so you'll be all right <laughs> but if you want you know your skin nicer or softer or whatever when you're shaving i would go with the skin to mint brand but if you're just looking for a shave and you don't care then just go ahead and use the barbasol <laughs> and that is it for my video <laughs> And my opinion is that. Let's get to it. <laughs> anyway, guys, I will catch you guys on the next one. Like always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below because I do read your comments. And again, don't forget to follow me on my OnlyFans, onlyfans.com slash Miss Lupe, and my Instagram, Miss Lupe's official page. And I will talk to you on the next one. And let me know which one you got. If you got another option of shaving creams, let me know as well because I'm always up for new stuff. Alrighty? Later! <laughs>